This is a presentation on CQC's work with the jet flame insert for use in rocket stoves to improve efficiency and increase the possibility of penetration of clean cooking in the least developed countries around the world. Let's talk first about Sequest Capital. Sequest was founded in 2008 as a social impact investment company and our mission is to transform the lives of the poorest families in the developing countries by providing sustainable energy solutions and by improving the health and well-being of women and children in particular. Our work in sustainable energy is dominated by providing cleaner, more efficient cookstoves and improving kitchen ventilation to reduce household air pollution and exposure to toxic chemicals and particulate matter in smoke. We also provide solutions associated with solar energy from utility scale power plants with lithium ion batteries through to Pico solar for households with battery supply and sustainable biomass uh, sources of, of, of fuel wood and, and pellets for use in cook stoves. Our work has evolved from 2010 onwards to the point where in 2020, we averaged 1,000 stoves built or distributed across the developing countries, mostly in sub-Saharan Africa, but also in Central America and South and East Asia per day, meaning almost 400,000 stoves built in 2020. And we have raised the capital to build as much as 1 million stoves per year over the next four years in sub-Saharan Africa. We are absolutely passionate about reducing the damage that is done by producing charcoal from native forests and see the jet flame technology as an extraordinary opportunity to undermine that largely illegal trade and provide cleaner, faster, cheaper cooking solutions for urban households. We finance our work through the production and sale of carbon credits, both to sovereigns like European sovereigns, Sweden, Switzerland and others, um, and to corporates in the voluntary carbon market under the increasing quest for net zero in terms of climate impact of major corporates uh, through their products and services. We try and bundle our carbon credits with quantified and verified outcomes at the household and individual level, including improved health outcomes and reducing the amount of time that women and girls spend cutting, collecting and carrying firewood to their households. We are uh, committed to trying technologies before we go to scale and we have had the opportunity to do so in Malawi where we have a hub for the eastern and southern Africa region. What we've been able to determine through our work and research by others is that there are important health damages that are occasioned by the use of open fire cooking across the rural areas and in the peri-urban areas. These health costs include respiratory disease, heart disease, uh, premature birth um, and underweight birth, blindness, and a whole host of other associated diseases that are increasingly well documented and recorded in the burden of disease assessment that is taking place periodically across the world. Uh, our plan in Malawi uh, is to introduce the jet flame as an alternative to the much more expensive ways of dealing with household air pollution and the health damages, including LPG and electricity, which is simply unavailable to all but the wealthiest of, of households and consumers. We have invested through our, our joint venture partner, Energy Africa, already in pellet fuel production and pellet fuel supply, but we realized that the cost and the transaction difficulties of organizing pellet fuels 
are simply making it a small scale alternative compared to the the nature of the challenge at scale to replace charcoal and and polluting open fire cooking so in 2020 we took advantage of an offer uh, from uh, Aprovecho and from the Gates Foundation to support the jet flame technology in small scale trials. What we were able to establish was uh, that the jet flame does make significant contributions to welfare. Our questions were very simple. Does the jet flame uh, improve the amenity of cooking? How does it do that? Does it save time? Does it save money? Would households uh, use the technology? What would they pay for the technology if they had access to it? We see the jet flame not as uh, a technology in and of itself, but part of a household energy kit. By supplying the energy through lithium ion batteries that is necessary to drive the fan in the jet flame itself, with relatively modest incremental cost, we can provide a total household energy solution with a 50 watt solar panel uh, and uh, a, a light which provides energy for charging cell phones um, and helps people do away with harmful kerosene and the cost of batteries and candles. The expected cost of the jet flame kit based on our current um, design of the manufacturing process and components is probably X factory around $40. That let me remind you is often less than the cost of the X factory cost of much more sophisticated fan assisted stoves that require pellets or fuel that is prepared in specific ways to be able to operate effectively. In our, in our trials, we did 10 day to two week ex uh, exposure of cooks trained in the use of the jet flame. And we found that the great many of them did not resort to a secondary stove. They were extremely happy to cook solely with the jet flame in um, a brick and metal rocket stove. They were really impressed with the speed of cooking and the time savings. I think you can understand that for women generally, the most important product that they have is time. If they can save time, they can do many other things which make their lives better and support their families in significant ways. Most of the cooks that we dealt with said they would pay a significant contribution uh, in cash to the purchase of the jet flame and it's our conclusion that if microfinancing solutions were available we could have a significant uptake of the jet flame kit in Malawi. The most important thing uh, to take away from this is what we are going to do next. We have already arranged financing from Bix Capital and with the use of our own resources have financed the production of a solar panel uh, manufacturing facility in Lilongwe in Malawi to be the partner um, solar uh, solution for fueling uh, for providing energy to the jet flame. We will also produce lithium ion batteries assembling them from components imported from from China and South Africa. And the jet flame itself will be brought in knocked down and assembled. These kits will be available for distribution in April this year. And we have already committed capital to procure the first 10,000 jet flame components and batteries from SSM in China. Our expectation is that we will be able to market successfully in the immediate region uh, of Malawi and Malawi itself 100,000 jet flame kits over the next three years.